If you can, please download the PDF file on the description below or print it out so you can work with me. First one. Now to find the surface area of this prism, so we can find the area of the front first because the front is we have a composite area. So what I do, I cut this frontier into half. So we name this, let's say, area 1, and we can find this area here. We name this area 2. So we have 6 centimeters from here to here, and not a 6 here because this symbol means they're the same length. So which is 6 plus 6 is 12. So this is 12 centimeters here. And we have 5 centimeters here because it's from this measurement. So now we can find area 1. So area 1 is 5 times 12. And then we can find area 2. So to find area 2, so we know that all the way from here to here is 15.5. And then the length of this is 5. So therefore we need to find this length which is 14.5 minus 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5 at 4 is 9. So this is 9.5 centimeters. Otherwise, you can just use calculate and work it out. And then now, area 2 is equal to 6 times 9.5. So if we add these together, we will give me the area of this front panel here. So area of the front is 12 times 5 plus 6 times 9.5, which give me 117 square centimeters. So we know that the area of the front panel, this one here, and the back here, are the same. So we just, these two are the same, front and back the same. So therefore, the area front and back is 117 times 2. So front and back is 117 times 2, which give me 234. Now, if you have a look at the top panel, so we know this panel here and at this panel is exactly the same as area of the base of this solid here. So therefore, we can find the area of the base, which is 14.5 times 20. And then, of course, we times 2 because the area of the top and the base are the same. So which is times 2, so easier. So 14.5 times 20 time 2, so which is 580 square centimeters. So now what's left is the area of this, the back here, this side, and these two panel here. So if you look at it from this view, okay, so this panel and this panel add together is the same as the area of the back here. So which is, we have from here to here, we have 12 centimeters because 6 centimeters plus 6 centimeters. And then the length of this is 20 centimeters is from here. So therefore, the area of this both sides, so which is 12 times 20 and times 2 because both of them. So therefore, the area of the size is 12 times 20 and we times 2 so give me this panel this panel and the back so that's what I get so left and right hand side if you like so 12 times 20 times 2 which is 480 square centimeters so now we just add those area together so we have area front and the back and then top and the base and then both sides so left in the right size of the solid so if we add them up so that is 234 at 580 at 480 that's give me 1294 square centimeters please stop the video and try this one yourself To do this, first of all, what I do, 
I cut this panel, the front panel, into two pieces first. So I can find the area of this. So if I cut this, so the length of this is equal to 22, because from here to here, 22. And then you minus 13. So minus 13 out. So 20 minus 13 is 7. At another 2 is 9. So this is 9 centimeters. Otherwise, just use your calculator. And this is 13 centimeters. So I can find the area of this, which is 9 times 15. And the area of this here is 13 times 8. So therefore, the area front is, I just add these two areas together. So area of the front is 15 times 9 at 13 times 8, which give me 239 square centimeters. And of course, the area at the front and the back here are the same. So it's just time by 2. So the area at the front and the back is 239 times 2. So which give me 478 square centimeters. So now, let's work out the area at the base and the top. So we know that the area of the top here, this panel, at this panel, is the same as the area of the base, which is 22 times 18. So 18 times 22, if you like, or 22 times 18, doesn't really matter. That's giving me the area of the base here. And then the top, so we can just, it's the same, so which is time by 2. So therefore, area top and base is equal to 22 times 18 times 2. So which give me 792 square centimeters. So now, what's left is this size, both sides. So this means this side here and these two panel here. Now, remember these two panel here, we add together is exactly the same as the back here. So which is, we can find the, the area at the back and which is time by two. So this is 15 centimeters and where's this one here? is 18 centimeters. So we can work out the area of this back here, which is 15 centimeters, and we times by 18 centimeters. And then of course, we times by two, so that I can also have the area of this panel here. So that's what we get. So area of the left and the right side of this um, prism, is 15 times 18 times 2, so which give me 540 square centimeters. So now I did everything already. So which is the area front and the back is give me this, and the area up top and the base is this. And then the two sides of this prism give me 540, of course. Now to find the surface area, all we need to do is we just add all these area together. So which is surface area of this is 478 at 792 and at 540. So which give me 1810 square centimeters. Thank you so much for watching my videos.